Here, we're going to do an interesting example, assuming now that we understand the enthalpy of solution. Remember what that means? It's when you have a solute and you dissolve that in a solvent like water. And in this case, we're dealing with ammonia nitrate. Now, you may not realize that, but that's the stuff they put into those cold packs, those packs that when you go to a soccer game and someone gets hurt and you want some ice, you don't have any ice, maybe someone has one of those cold packs, you grab it, you squeeze it, something pops inside, and all of a sudden, the pack gets cold, and you can use it like an ice bag. So what's going on in that pack? How does that work? Well, as we said, it contains uh, solid ammonia nitrate. And when we dissolve that in water, we end up with ammonia, uh, ammonium um, ions and nitrate ions, and it has a delta H of solution, meaning an enthalpy of solution of a positive 26.2 kilojoules. Positive means that it's endothermic. And what does that mean? That means it absorbs heat. So as it absorbs heat, where does it have to come from? It comes from the water within the pack, cooling the water down. Now let's try to figure out how much it will cool down and so forth. So let's, uh, let's assume that uh, we have this equation here and we're going to find out the molar mass of ammonia nitrate. Okay, so we have a one, we have two nitrogens. So two nitrogens, that amounts to two times 14 grams per mole. Um, that's rough, you know, it's close enough. It's equal to 28 grams for the... Uh, so that gives us 28 grams for the nitrogen. Now we have three oxygen molecules, so three oxygens, that amounts to three times 16 grams per mole, which is equal to 48 grams. And then finally we have four hydrogens, and that amounts to uh, four times one gram, which is equal to four grams. Now if we add all that up, that's 60, 76, that would be 80 grams per mole for the ammonium nitrate. Okay, 80 grams, how many ounces is that? Well, luckily I right here have the conversion between ounces and grams. And so if we have 80 grams, we divide 80 by 28.35, that's, that's almost three ounces, roughly speaking. So let's see here, uh, 80 divided by 28.35, it's 2.8, so that's roughly three ounces of ammonium nitrate. All right, so it depends how much they put in that pack. Let's assume they just put one mole, three ounces of ammonium nitrate in that pack. They put some water in there. How much water? Well, let's say they put 200 grams of water. So 200 grams of H2O, uh, which is about, you know, about eight ounces, a little bit less than eight ounces. So with the water and the ammonium nitrate, you have a pack that weighs maybe uh, close to three quarters of a pound. You squeeze it, water rushes in there. It, it dissolves the ammonium nitrate. How much heat is released? Well, in this reaction, we release 26.2 kilojoules, which is 26,200 joules of water. So the delta Q is equal to 26,200 joules. And notice again that the, the change in the temperature of the water can be found by this equation, that the delta Q, the heat absorbed or given off, is equal to the MC delta T. So if we want to know how much colder the water is going to get from what it is, and assuming it's at room temperature of about 20, 25 degrees, so we can then say that the delta T is equal to the delta Q divided by MC. Delta Q, uh, well, that would be what we just got right here, right? That's the heat absorbed by the reaction, which is 26,200 joules. We divide it by the mass of the water, which is 200 grams and divided by the specific heat of the water, which is one calorie per gram per centigrade degree, or 4.186 joules, 4.186 joules uh, per gram per centigrade degree. And when we do all that, we get centigrade degrees as a final unit. So let's figure out, we have 26,200 divided by 200, divided by 4.186 equals, wow, 31 degrees, that's quite a bit. So this is equal to 31.2 degrees centigrade, or I should really say centigrade degrees because it's not the actual temperature. So assuming that we have this cold pack uh, sitting in uh, someone's sports bag or someone's first aid kit at the soccer field, let's say it's about 25 degrees outside, so the temperature final is equal to temperature initial minus the delta T, and so this is equal to 25 degrees centigrade minus 
the decrease in the temperature from this reaction, 31.2 uh, centigrade degrees, and so that would be a minus 6.2 degrees centigrade, which, yeah, that would feel like an ice pack that just came out of the freezer, quite cold, and for a while you can put that on the sore, sore uh, bruise or whatever the soccer player has and soothe the pain a little bit by this reaction. It's pretty, pretty amazing that now we can have an ice pack like that. Anywhere you go, break the seal, water rushes in, dissolves the ammonia nitrate, and the pack cools down by about 30 degrees and feels nice and cold. Pretty interesting.